Welcome to Yes Offense. Trigger warning, disclaimer, whatever you want to call it, this podcast will feature graphic language about sex, race, violence, and anything else that might make people uncomfortable. However, this is a comedy podcast, and everything and anything talked about on it should be viewed as an attempt at humor. Like, if you hear anything on this podcast you don't agree with or like, please just turn it off. No one on here is a politician or actually affecting the way you live. So if you genuinely have a problem with anything said on here, redirect your energy at a real issue going on in the real world. Now let's get into the show. Nice. It is going. It always says right air. You got to give it like eight seconds. (laughs) Okay. (sighs) This bastard, dude. (laughs) Hold on. There we go. Mm, for fun, the fun. for the guys, send it over yeah, to. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a guy for my boy. You got to give him some applause where he won't work. Is that yeah, what that yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, I don't hear a clap. I don't edit. I'm like, All right, dude, <laughs> chill out. <laughs> nah, man. Fucking, what's up, you guys? What's up, man? Sorry, man. Um, Steve, Stephen, how do you say your last name? It's Bowls. <laughs> bowls, like, like <laughs> soup bowls. Stephen Bowls, smoking bowls. You know, that's right. that's how I say it. Cause, Cause, yeah. Because when I read it, I was like, Bali. I know it wasn't, but I was like, Bali's. I'm like, hmm. Bali's would that, sound, yeah. I like how that sounds. Bali's sounds yeah. nice. I've, I've got Boyes before, which sounds I like. like Argentinian or something. Yeah, yeah. Boyes. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Boyes. Or Boli's is like Italian, Bolognese. You're, you're close to Bolognese. I'm closer to Stephen Bolognese more than anything, for sure. It's B-O-L-L-E-S, so I see why Boyes and Bolis. And yeah. I get boils more often than not, and that honestly <laughs> bothers me. I'm like, yeah. I'd rather you just say balls than balls. Disgusting, boils, boils. Yeah. Stephen Boils. Wow, that you ever you know the the I'm I'm sure you do because uh, just because you said you're politically savvy, which means you read a lot. You know the this the the plagues, the plagues of Egypt. Mm-hmm. One of them was boils. Did you yeah. just you say you're politically savvy? You know this Bible story, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you, so I'm, I'm well, just making sure that's the connection we yes, just made. Yes, I did. Okay. Well, I mean, a if you must be revolution yeah. in its own way, Loki. Sure. Well, was, yeah. well, more like if you're politically savvy, it means you've probably re- like you <laughs> argue. You don't mind arguing with religious people because I do that, and I'm yes. not even politically savvy. Yes. But yeah, I can yeah, only yeah. imagine. You know what I mean? Yeah. But mm-hmm. the seven plagues. I think whatever. Fucking Moses, the fake thing Moses did. He gave them all boils. Mm-hmm. That shit as a kid, as a young Catholic, freaked me out. I'm not anymore, yeah. but mm-hmm. freaked me out. Anyway, guys, welcome to Yes Offense. My, <laughs> I'm your host, as always, Alex Thomas. I'm here with Stephen Bowles. Fake <laughs> Bowles. Stephen Bowles. You got it. Close enough. Stephen Bowles and Max Carney, who yes, we've just met. Minutes ago, I feel like we should shake hands again. That's, yeah, that that felt like it. a yeah. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. making on deals. Meeting too. Yeah, making yeah. deals. Oh man. Oh, so we wanted to come in hot. Yes. Cause oh something, yeah, because something yep. just happened to us what? on a so walk wait, over here. Oh, real quick, we're on the train and a homeless guy's being obnoxious. We're like, oh great, we'll talk about this on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then and we then, get off, and on a walk here, like maybe two or three blocks away from here, we're coming up, and on the around the corner, this girl walked by. She cries, like, I can't do this anymore. This is bullshit. I can't. And this angry fucking dude follows right behind her. I see he's. <laughs> Going to talk to her, I'm like, well, their night psych sucks. You know, yep, that yep. sucks. And he walked by me. He just like shoulder checked oh, me, damn, was super dude. hard, like out of nowhere. Like my hand was in my pocket, but I felt it. Yeah. And I was just more surprised. I'm like, do you not see this mammoth next to me, <laughs> bro? The, yeah. Like, yeah, you what? could fuck me up, but can you fuck him up? No, yeah, you could. shoved you. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. And we stopped. And we had a little. I just, shouting I just match. was like, yo, are you good, man? Mm-hmm. Turns out, goes, yeah, I'm good. Are you good? I said, I think, like, you're on the other side of the street, dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he just started cursing at us. Mm. You're such a dude, such a bitch. Yeah, I hate such that a bitch so move. much. He, he, yep, he hit the small guy, and then as soon as the big guy started talking, he yeah. kept walking. He kept all, yeah, he, he kept, kept walking. walking. Also, dude, you're not getting laid after that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Give it up. Yeah, dude. Yeah. That's fucking that is bitch move, dude. Like I'm I'm never one to instigate, but whenever someone does and then they immediately back down, I'm like, why did you even why, dude? Just don't mm-hmm. even start like yeah. w- very um I was on my way to a gig out of the city once. I'm just it's like deeper into Bro- I was driving deeper into Brooklyn to get out. I don't anyway. Um on the way, a car just in front of me stops at the stop sign, and a guy gets out of the driver's seat and just goes, I'm not driving. I'm not driving anymore. I'm not driving. And his girlfriend's in the <laughs> passenger seat. Oh, that explains everything. Just going, right? get back in the car, you dumb mother. Just yelling at him. And he's like, fuck you, bitch. I'm not. This car pulls up behind me and just starts honking. And I'm going like, dude, I'm not. I'm, it's, it's not me. Dude hops out of the car and back of me and goes, it's, it's a dude like you, but like massive, he, very tall, like 6'6". Uh-huh. Six, six. And he goes, bro, what the fuck? And the dude goes, 
what the fuck, man? I'm arguing with my lady. He goes, I don't give a fuck if you're arguing with your lady. Get the fuck out of the fucking road. He goes, why are you coming at me like that, man? Why are you coming? He goes, you're in the fucking road. And then, dude, they have it out, and the tall guy goes, all right, I'm going to go. I goes, stay right here. I'll be back. And I went, oh, fuck. Yeah. And then the guy in the car moves, goes around the corner and drives and parks and starts yelling at the dude. That dude speeds past me, goes through the intersection, has it out, pulls up, parks his car and just runs as I'm driving by, <laughs> just runs towards them in traffic. And I was wow. like, not even watch. I just was like, yo, that's yeah. Fucking with the wrong one. Exactly. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. Would you fuck with a big guy and also a big guy who's like, I'm going to, like, I'm going to get something. Like, just, yeah, just my bad. Leave. I'm, I'm wrong. Yeah. I'm wrong. I'm we can fight at home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do this in the yeah. street. Yeah. No, this motherfucker. Knocked my, he knocked my cigarette out of my hand. Oh, yo, I think he owes me a cigarette and a better relationship to his girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, yeah. That, oh. What a fucking dick. I you know. love getting in fights. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at him. Look at him. Well, well, you yeah. got to be Pete Angelo, dude. You would have to be boys. Yeah, dude. I, I, love a, I love a good fight. Like, it's, I don't really get in them that much, but th- it makes me so, so frustrated that you would, like, step up to somebody and then try and ruin something. Because that's all that is. That dude's trying to, like, exert control yeah, on yeah. us. I'm yeah. like, I'm just going to laugh at you, dude. That's I'm, all it is. I'm honestly pissed at me f- for being kind of a bitch. That was mm. like, you were next to me. That was like the one moment on earth that could have been, <laughs> hey, my fucking would go. Yeah, and like yeah, really yeah. Ha- not have to suffer that many consequences because even if my ass does start getting beat, I got reinforcement. Yeah, I'll take it would have been my one moment to really kind of talk some shit in the street. But I was just shocked, bro. I've been in this neighborhood for 10 years. I used to run a show a block away mm-hmm. from here for like seven years. I've been in this neighborhood yeah, for a yeah. while. That's never any shit like that has yeah, ever happened on the before. Lord's Day. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like, can you believe That's it? Crazy. Can you believe it, man? Dude, your traffic story, we were just on the road like a month ago mm. in Wisconsin, and some guy could not figure out the toll booth. Oh, and so we're yeah. behind him for like at least three minutes. So just this guy trying to hit it, and I just roll down my window and go, ha, 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 I am laughing at you. Yeah. <laughs> and Steven goes, stop, dude, roll up your window. Don't yeah. do that. Yeah. I'm like, you're an idiot. And just roll it up until he leaves. I was like, I don't even have any cash to give this guy. Yeah, just let him figure oh, it out. Damn, you know? I'm like, we, we got, you know, eight hours of the next show. We're fine. Yeah. Uh, we'll be good. Well, it's cool, though, that, like, I know what you mean when you're like, I feel like a bitch, but I've also had that happen, but I've, you know what it is when someone does something like that to you and it just doesn't affect you? That's not even like being a bitch. That's just literally being like, <sighs> you know, what I mean? it's like, yeah. who cares? Is it worth it? Yeah, right. is it it's not worth it. Yeah. I'm, I'm of the class, I guess, of like, unless someone is like trying to attack me, I'm not really, I'm not hostile. Like no, I never am, like walking around like I'm going to go fucking fight somebody. Like, yeah. Because I, I don't know what anyone's capable of. I've seen people get fucking their heads split open. Like, I, yeah. I don't yeah. Dude, you catch me at the wrong song in my headphones. I'm looking to fight like <laughs> people feeding the homeless. Dude, it's, yeah, I'm dude. very susceptible to that. No, I know. I just, dude, today would have been the day, bro. I'm in the middle of a breakup. It would have been a great day. Oh, <laughs> would have been a great day to have a fight. You know? With a lady? With a lady. Um, yeah, yeah. Break up with a lady. Um, oh, we good? Oh, God. We go. Damn. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> that was not Sluts. what I was expecting. Yeah, was. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay, no, she's not a slut. It, 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 sorry, I just, it, no, no, it's no. very funny. It was Most very of the funny time, whenever a woman's brought up, I'm like, "What'd you say?" <laughs> it's, I'm just an asshole. Like, no, that's hilarious. No, that's the worst part. That's the the worst thing ever is an amicable breakup. It hurts. Yeah, worse, dude. You know? it hurts worse because you like your yeah. yeah you're I still like, 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 like we, Yeah, you're a good person. <laughs> this shit just didn't work. You know, we gave it a try, mm-hmm. but I definitely really really should have taken advantage of taking it out on that fucking guy mm. or at least got my ass beat once to it say I to did yeah, yeah, yeah exactly take my mind off of it or yeah, something dude. Yeah, dude, yeah. Oh, I gotta tell you this I just remembered this this was years ago back in Columbus we were on a buddy's uh, big birthday and uh, this guy comes through he's like 6'6 he's taller than me and uh, it's a white dude, right? Hell and yeah. it's like two of them, and there's this hot girl. <laughs> I'm saying it because I was in a group that I was, was. I was just like, like yeah. Yeah. hell yeah, just, that's, that's good. That's funny. But like say. these, this hot, this beautiful, like blonde chick walks through our group, mm. and one of my buddies loves catcalling. Gets hammered. I'm not condoning it. It just is what it is. And I remember it's it's. Two black dudes in my group. One of them goes the other. Goes, yo, man, I definitely hit a girl. I'm like, what are we talking about? <laughs> right? But no, dude, I would for sure hit a woman. And this girl walks through, and he goes, "Would you hit her?" And he goes, "Hey, hell no, nah, baby girl, you too cute." And like, <laughs> and she goes through, and then this white guy comes, like, pushes through a shoulder through, and goes, "Yeah, she is hot." 
You know where she's staying tonight? <laughs> my house. Oh. You know How why? Like them apples. Because she's my sister. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> wow. And yeah, my buddy goes, hey, oh, hell yeah. White dudes love fucking they sister. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Come on, man. You're making me look bad in front of my friends. I don't that even was, know you. <laughs> that was a plot dude, twist. Dude, that... Hell yeah, dude. I'm gonna, you know, just because you know, we got to do it because of that story. Ready? He's black. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> is that, the, is that uh, yes. Tony's mom? Hell yeah, dude. Nice. Hey, anyone who noticed that, dude, you're always welcome back <gasps> on the pod, bro. Yeah, yeah. You too, Steven. But that, yeah, yeah. She's why oh, I had, I had to stop yes. watching that show because of her. Hmm? Her and uh, Wait, her daughter. Oh, sorry. I had to stop watching Sopranos because oh. she changed my core temperature when I watched it. Her <laughs> and her daughter, I was like, I was like three seasons in. I was like, I can't do it. Like, I'm, I'm picking about Tony's fights. mom. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and Janice. And Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, I, oh, I like it watch. was fucking up my days, like watching that show. Like I could not <laughs> recover. So I used to, because I've watched the show a few times, and every time I restart it, I forget she's in the show because usually when the sh- when you're you've watched the show already, you've gone through three seasons without her. So mm-hmm. Spoiler: alert, right, she right, died right, in real yeah. life. Right. But every time I see her, I forget, and when she's on screen, I'm like. Oh, I get excited. Like I, she's so mean. Oh, I love. God, yeah, she's I love terrible. mean old women. Like I, I, I can just sit with them for hours and listen. That's so. It's fun. like being with your mom or what? Yeah. I what's don't that know about? What it is, dude? Because my mom's not even like that. It's just I. I it's bet just she's a little funny. bit like I that. She's a little bit. But she's not. Um, she's not old yet either. Like old, old. At least. Okay. She's not like withered and shit. She's not like Tony's mom. Right. So right. I'm right. But, my aunt is sort. My great aunt is sort of like that, but mm. she's southern, so it's it's got a little Ooh. like um, sweetness to it. Too. Yeah. It's like playful and fun when southern people are mean, you know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Dude, she, one time, um, we is that we were hanging out, and there was a, a person in the room who was trans, uh-huh. and she what well, they walked in, and she said hi to them, and they walked away, and she goes. They still look like a girl, you know. I was just like, why? You didn't have to say that. She's like, I'm just saying. I'm t- she goes, we're all just saying. saying. We're all just thi- saying. And I was just like, God damn it. And then God I, damn it, I, you're I went, right. Real talk. <laughs> <laughs> we're hitting the gambit, dude. I'm a fan. I want to know what the fourth one is now. Oh, yeah. yeah. That. We'll, we'll get it. We'll It'll get pop it. up, we'll dude. Uh, it, this it, is going to be the Easter egg I, later. I try to spring them on the guests naturally. Some guests, like... Just stare at it and are like, I have to. I, can I press them all? And I go, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just let him. Mike Racine was doing that. Mike Racine. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 once he saw it, he was like, there's four of them. And he just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like, yeah, the interview's not going to happen if I don't let you do this, right? Yeah, yeah. Go we got to talk. We got to have this now. But yeah. So you said you used to run shows here. You also said you used to party. In this very building. The yes. same apartments? Yes. They're all the I, same, right? I know. That's why I'm, I'm having deja vu sitting in this apartment because I remember so many times. I want to say it was on the fourth floor i have spent a lot of nights in this building on the fourth floor <laughs> after parties after rooftop parties we ran the show next at the cafe a block mm-hmm. away for a long time i actually had a buddy that used to live in this building mm-hmm. and i remember he lived in the basement oh. and we tried to help him uh move stuff out of the basement and we couldn't get the couch out of the Ooh, basement yeah. stairs so we kind of just tough. left a couch <laughs> just like it's gone down now, there you know, like near <laughs> the entrance it was probably not kosher but it's gone now so i guess they figured it out figured but out. I have spent a lot of nights here, and one of my favorites was my. I remember my 25th birthday. I base. I'm pretty sure I gave myself alcohol poisoning because I remember being up on the roof. I was in a bad way, and I remember I was in such a bad way that my handler was actually Daniel Parafan, which is very oh, funny. Oh my god, that's, that's very he, funny. Is this, he was this alcoholic. Yeah, 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 alcoholic yeah, yeah, yeah. he's not. Yeah, he's that, really wow. not. Yeah, that's but he bad, was the yeah. one when I was walking back from the uh, roof downstairs. He was holding the back of my shirt yeah. behind me so I didn't fall. <laughs> downstairs and I remember thinking I was like yo you gotta get it together man this is not good everyone's here for you and I remember just like being zonked out on the couch and Dan Wicks comes up to me and he's like hey "Hey, man we got you hey we got you a a birthday cake do you uh, do you want us do you want us to sing you happy birthday and I was just like dude I was so I was like I don't want anyone to look at me right now I'm so fucked up I'm about to die don't sing happy birthday and then um, and then I remembered I had blow in my pocket and I did (laughs) and then I had did two I did two key bumps. I did two key bumps, and someone put Mambo Number no. Five on, oh, and I was up. No. You know, I was fig- I was healed. It was a. It was a. It was a miracle. Yeah, you know, it was a really. Right there, and then I was like, "Where's the cake?" And he's like, "We ate all of it." I'm like, "Damn, I thought that was like four <laughs> minutes ago." And he's like, "No, that was like an hour ago." And I was like, oh, "Okay, whatever, fair enough." But uh, yeah, we fixed ourselves. Hell but yeah, yeah. and I remember the other memory I have in this house was there was one New Year's Eve a while ago, and I had like. 
this was back when I was relatively new to Molly. Oh, okay. And I thought I had taken like a regular amount. It turns out I had taken twice as much as you're generally oh, supposed no, to. Dude. And then we go to this party that was just a couple blocks down that way on okay. Putnam. And um, my friends found out I had a bag of Molly. So they were dipping their fingers in it and rubbing on their gums. And it went around a circle. And I'm just such a stoner that's used to puff, puff, pass. It came back to me. And I was like, well, fuck it. And <laughs> a little bit more. It made another pass. And I was like, fuck it. And did a little <laughs> bit more. And dude, I was a fool light risk i was like so jumpy i could not sit still to save my uh, life even like you know in the party there's always like one designated chill weed room that yeah, everyone's yeah, smoking yeah, yeah. in i was just standing on the wall in the weed room like hey guys how's everybody doing what do you guys want to talk about what are you guys doing here we smoke some weed i definitely need some weed you're fucking melting me out a little bit you see what i'm talking about and like dude i remember running out of that weed room at four in the morning because it was 4 a.m and i thought it'd be fun to play two chains 4 a.m over the speakers <laughs> course. and i ran out in the living room and like the party is dead the mm. like lights are on there's nobody there and i remember running up to my boy terrence whose house it was i was like bro can we put on 4 a.m because it's 4 a.m on tuesday he's like no man, <laughs> like, we're, the fuck we're done here. yeah and i remember leaving and i actually was the manager of that cafe for a second yeah. i called one of my staff members because he went to a lot of after hour spots oh, nice. i left the most cracked out voice message <laughs> to him. i was like hey man i just i was just wonder if somebody if you were somewhere where like people are dancing because I, I gotta i gotta keep dancing bro i'm like i'm just i'm just wired right now dude you get it you get it it's fucking new year's you get it and like and then dude i remember he fucking showed everybody that, that <laughs> voicemail sort of the next Day, and I'm just like, but the only I'm like, it's my staff. They know who I am. Yeah. You know? It's not like it was a surprise or anything. But I remember the saving grace of that night was I found somebody in the fourth floor here that I went over to their place and they were doing dabs, like the weed mm. dabs. And I was like, that is perfect because dabs is like the heaviest weed that you could oh, do, yeah, basically. Right back. And crack. so I it's was just crack. like, yeah. I am. It's weed crack. It's, yeah. it's weed meth. Is what yeah. I think it yeah. looks yeah, like yeah. meth. And so I was just like, I'm going to hit as many dabs to the face as I possibly can and then go to bed with everybody else. I probably ripped like eight and it barely did anything, but then everybody went to bed. So I just had to lay on the couch <laughs> and like every moment I thought I was like getting close to being sleepy or resting, like I would notice that my toes were still moving, you know, mm. like it just involuntarily. Yeah. And so I kind of just stayed there and slept until the, tried to sleep until the sun came up and then uh, went home after that. But that's the last time I think I was in this building specifically, but I have a Spilling. lot of memories in this building. Now I have a new one. Yeah, no, thanks, man. <laughs> thanks for coming back. Great yeah. your presence, dude. <laughs> this building does get wild, too, dude. Like, someone just moved in and they had a party the other night and they mm -hmm. were, like, just, like, teenagers is the wrong word, but there were, like, very <laughs> young girls in my hallway just being like, oh, my God, I'm having this New York City. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. just like, uh, what the fuck? Oh, the guy God, was, yeah. It was horrible, dude. That's what you come yeah. to Bushwick for. That's, just, that's like, true. You live in the right place. Mm, yeah. I, did, I did peek out the window. I, dude, I went full grown Gran Torino like I was like, <laughs> like looked out my door like <sighs> dude bitches when we first moved into our place we threw a party and I was like everyone here is gonna hate us and have the wrong expectation and then we've just been the most boring apartment oh yeah, yeah. we haven't yeah. done anything in like nine months oh wow nah we haven't done anything fun we had and a move in party else, and that was it everyone else is crazier you found out no just oh. it's like very residential like oh. we have a some couple that has like a one year old baby next door, so we are kind of like, well, maybe we'll not play our music so loud, yeah. you know, like keep it a little chill. They also yeah. make they make. I assume it's Indian food. Like it is Indian four food. days a week that is unreal. I brought a girl home. And she's like, are they looking to adopt? I was like, too old to say that, but yes, I yeah. want their food. <laughs> yeah, the food smells good all the time. And I still oh. remember the baby cracked me up the other day because I remember when I was still talking to uh, still talking to my girl. Oh. <laughs> but, when, <laughs> but we were talking on the phone like maybe a month ago and we we're basically talking about the horrors of childbirth or whatever mm. and I was talking about like I used to work in childcare I'm not an idiot like when it comes to that stuff and she's like well tell me what do you know and I'm like okay hold on I want to talk about how disgusting childbirth is but I can hear the baby cry right now so let me get in my apartment <laughs> and like as I'm saying that I'm like unlocking our apartment their door is wide open to kind of get somebody heat out from the kitchen I just see the baby looking at me <laughs> over the high chair <laughs> like he knew I was talking shit <laughs> <laughs> and I was dying laughing. I'm like, childbirth is beautiful. Yeah, let me put a kid in you. you know, yeah. fuck it. I feel fuck bad it. because my room is the one that shares a wall with theirs. Mm. Mm. And the girl I've been hanging out with is like, hearing impaired oh. she doesn't know that she's as loud as she is i don't think <laughs> yeah like, there's a baby there's a baby right there dude shut the fuck up That's yeah hilarious. you're gonna make this kid a horny pervert like and not even know why he's gonna be deep in that yeah, kid's yeah. subconscious yeah yeah i haven't heard i only heard i think my roommates have sex like once or twice 
Really? And that's it is yeah it is. But they're pr- we're all pretty like like everyone's pretty cool. So no one like wants. We're like to- sick, dude. We yeah. we fuck all the time. You can't even <laughs> no, hear it though. No bro. one wants to like he- make the I- every girl or everyone who comes here like no one wants to be loud apparently because no, they know we're so all. So your roommates are not that cool. Yeah. If that's no, a I mean like they, we're not waking each other up with sex all the time. Right. Not right. cool. No, I guess. Yeah. I guess not. <laughs> we're saying the same thing. <laughs> no, we're not. Our apartment's loud. Yeah. yeah our our apartment's apartment loud. Is loud. Well, there's well, there's a there's a zero tolerance policy on bitching about sex. Oh, we don't, no, we yeah. don't complain. It's just it seems like it's either like they're not here mm. or we don't like we just don't hear it. I don't know. That I heard nice. it, I've heard it like once or twice, like I've said. It, it, it is nice when you yeah. want to get busy not hearing anybody else. I will sure. say that is nice because there have been times where like I'll be with someone in my bedroom and then like I hear them fucking around in a living room. Like I can't fuck to the Rick and Morty thing. Yeah, you know? exactly. Like, this is, exactly dude. Yeah, this is yeah. kind of taking me out of it right now a little bit. Uh, dude, uh Tell me when you were FaceTiming about me. <laughs> oh, okay. This is really funny. It was um, I remember this was like the last week my girl and I were together. Yeah. And, um, and at the beginning of the conversation, like I was joking that Max was with his girl and they just be spanking, bro. That's all you, That's all I hear all, all right. night all right. when she over. It just be, be part spanking. Of it. And I was just like, I was like, if I stop in the middle of a conversation to FaceTime and just hold it up to the wall, I just like want you to hear it, you know, like just because we're in on it together, you know, just for funsies. And we're FaceTime. It, and it's so fun. this is like the last week of our lives. so we're kind of having a tough conversation you know like trying to figure out if this could work if it could not work and we're in the middle of a tough conversation and I'm just like oh. and then I do it to the wall and then she came back she's like I heard everything oh. I was like I know I thought she's gonna just be like end message and then yeah it's and just, no 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 it was a very it yeah. was a very welcome welcome yeah. little breather Look, I'm know. here to serve first yeah. of all <laughs> It was a very nice little palate cleanser. Yeah. Is what I was, it was. And I will say this: the first time she stays over, dude, I promise you, that for him, for his girl, the first time she stays over, it is comically loud and like saying stuff you don't say to people. <laughs> like I'm not gonna repeat; that's his business. But I yeah. promise you, like when I got out, she's like, "Hey, you know, I'm." Steven, this is so-and-so. I thought she was going to be like, hey, my name's so-and-so. I was faking last night. <laughs> like, it was so <laughs> over the top. Yeah, I just can't stand that I'm winning. Dude, it's crazy. Can't stand. I'm like, man, yeah. it, if it's quiet, you ain't putting it down right. Yo. Your roommate should hear that shit. I well, bo- that's the thing. It's I don't have sex here too often because okay. I'm usually at the other people's Right, yeah, right. Yeah, I, I, agree. I agree. But when I do, yeah, I try to... It's not even I try to keep it down. It's just... I don't know what it is. Maybe my room is slightly insulated because... Which one is yours? This is my room. That one's yours. Okay. Well, yeah. we'll go in there and make some noise. See if yeah, they can hear some noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 figure it out after. Yeah, yeah no he offense. just left. So you sit in Christian's room, and then we'll be in he's there making loud sex my, noises. Like, yeah, he's heard my bed like smashing into the wall. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah that's always the yeah. giveaway. They're you, yeah, they're usually these, like I tell them. You can scream, but they usually don't. They don't want to. I try to be respectful. See, my roommates know because I'm loud when I touch myself. Mm. So we've just set the precedent. Like (laughs) you're like a. Oh, I'm such a good boy. boy. He's a good boy. (laughs) We share a wall. Confirm. Actually, I will say that is the that was the funniest thing. Was I do remember at one point like. You saying that you could hear what I was saying and it disgusted you, which I thought was hilarious. Yeah. And then like a night or two later, I remember oh, like yeah. I remember I could hear him and his girl, and it was the first time I could really hear her, which I thought was yeah. funny. Like I could always hear the sounds, but I could never hear her actually speaking. And so I like I kind of just stopped listening, listening Pulling to TikToks for a second, wall. just like, a little hey. little cup on the wall move for a second, just curious to check it in, see what's going on. And like I could hear her, but then. I heard him in full on <laughs> fucking daddy mode. Right. And I was just like, oh, gross. Oh my God. Disgusting. I don't yeah, know. Well, I was like, and then I felt bad that he could hear me. I'm like, okay, I will yeah, make an effort yeah. to make your bed, pick up at yourself. You want to hear me talk like that. All right. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I will make an effort to not speak so loudly from now on because I did not like, did not like that yeah, hearing yeah. that for one. I'm happy my boy's winning. Oh, I just yeah, don't want to hear the dialogue. Yeah, yeah. What, like one time, my old apartment, I sat down in the uh, living room like this uh-huh. and t- was eating cereal and I just heard in the other room a girl be like uh, uh, and I was like well I'm going in the kitchen now. Like, yeah, I'm, just, I'm not going to eat and listen to this like, <laughs> I would That's it so sounds fun just yeah. stare at the door yeah right <laughs> dude we were you, fucking hooking up and then you and your fucking mom came on the balcony the other day this was like a week it was, ago it was noon yeah. dude yeah alright so I know. Yeah, it was fine yeah she was over but it was like we'd be sweating so I leave that window all the way open with the curtain pulled to the side to get some ventilation in that room and then I'm ass naked trying to close the curtain without <laughs> them seeing me from the 
outside of it. You know, it would have been better if I had a broom or something. You should have just hung leg. trout. Just <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, that was fun. Did you, did you say she said daddy stuff? Your your girl calls you daddy and stuff. All right, this feels. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I don't know. It's yeah, we're a sex know. positive. Podcast. So I'm definitely sex positive. No, I don't I, know. I've come a full 180 on daddy. I, I have come a full 180 I, on it. I don't like when a girl calls me daddy. If a girl of a certain background says like poppy and stuff, then I'm all well, there Latina chick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, of course. I, Everyone loves if that. If a yeah. white woman goes. They, Give it to me, Daddy. I'm like, oh, God, well, that's you, just a white girl's puppy. What do you respect? You know, yeah, but it's like <laughs> she should call Dad, Papa, yeah. the Father, the Peepaw. Peepaw. She's a white girl. Yeah, yeah. 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 Give it to me, Peepaw. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I, I don't. I, I'm not. Uh, for one time, it's fine, but I, I don't like a, too much Daddy talk. It's like, oh, God, actually, I, I do have up. something funny about this. What? Was yeah. the uh, the first time I had hooked up with the girl I was seeing. Um, it was very much like a booty call. It was like we had just found each other on Tinder. Mm. Like we met at like 11 for drinks and went back to my place. And um, while we were hooking up, she called me by her ex's name oh. like a dozen times. <laughs> and it's a single that's, syllable name. No, and my name, on, my name on Tinder was Steve at the time. So initially I was like, does she just not remember my name? And then like by the sixth or seventh time, I'm like, there is no way. This is not her <laughs> ex's name. And so that was the quick fix. I was like, just like without calling her out on it, without making it weird, I was just like, call me daddy, you know? And she goes, okay. And then we roll with it. And it wasn't until afterwards we we're cuddling in bed. I'm like, so who's yeah, ex, yeah, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, right. I'm not going to so say his name, funny. but I was That's like, funny. she's like, yeah, that was his name. I'm like, yeah, you called me that about 12 times. But yeah, what? Damn, she she's Dude, having separation anxiety. Well, or that something. was she had just broken up with like a month and a half before or something like that, and like also like, dude, I was in the middle of my hoeiest hoe phase, mm. so it like even when it was dawning on me that's what was happening, I was like, baby, you call me whatever you need to call yeah, me. No, yeah, I yeah. Dude, I can watch that, yourself not there. Mine, yeah, you know? if we're having a good time and a girl throws out like, hey, Derek, I'd be like. Again, I'd be like six or seven. I'd be like, all right, what the fuck's up yeah, with this yeah. Derek? Everyone right? gets, everyone so gets two Derek. or three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I'm having a good time here. But yeah. what's going on with this but, Derek? But I will say, Daddy, as, as I have flipped 180 on okay. it, and it was because initially I was the same as everybody else. We're like, that's gross. That's incestuous. I would never do yeah. that. I better I'm better. not never, but yeah. I'm just like... When I hear daddy, I just go. Mm. I make yeah, that but face. it's. So, you know what? That's because you're thinking with your brain and not your dick. Yeah. <laughs> also, you're thinking with your dick, <laughs> it's yes, not a problem. Girls are calling me daddy. Picture yourself as a woman who wants to call somebody daddy. Are you swiping right on me? Yes. Yo, yo damn, dude. Yeah, damn, dude. bro. Damn, you <laughs> might have just split me. Damn, bro. That's a great. Damn, you got me there. I had no. I, I, I just agreed with you. Yeah. No, I agree. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Is I don't get daddy that often because I feel like you and me are in that. We are not quite daddy yet, but he is fucking six so. foot, yeah. what, five? Four. Six foot four. Six like you can protect. Dude. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You can keep it's him funny. warm and everything. Like, I'm bony, dude. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm, I'm like a bunch of remotes, like yeah. in, a, in a sack. You know what I mean? Yeah, I had a, I had a, <laughs> a rubber sack. My girl recently told me she hugged me and then like made like a whimpering noise. I was like, what? She goes, You're not soft anymore. She's like, God damn right, I'm not soft anymore. <laughs> <'Cause> I'm huge. <laughs> yeah, it's getting fucking huge. Yeah, out here. yeah, and one of the jobs I have is uh we we wear like basically like a janitor's jumpsuit. We wear dickies. And I can't even fit into it. I have to roll my sleeves up because it's not long enough for me. It is the daddiest outfit in the entire world, like a wrench on. I have a, I have a buddy who's like very flaming that I work with, and he's like, "I feel very daddy right now." I was like, "Imagine how I feel, dude." Yeah, 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 dude. It is there is something to the being big thing because my my girl was small. Mm. You know, she's not dead. I say was. She was my girl. It's weird she to talk was about because it's she so wasn't recent. Small. Yeah, she yeah. Was girl. yeah, she is small. And like, dude, one time I was at her place, and I just like carried her up all three flights of steps to her apartment, and was like, I could have done six more. You know, yeah, I felt yeah, so yeah. good. I was like, I didn't, I didn't make a face or nothing. Right. My breathing was solid the whole time, yeah. and I was like, okay, this is all right. My turn. Yeah, you know, <laughs> my turn. I want to try. Same thing, dude. I've <laughs> scooped up uh, only small chicks in here and brought them in there, mm -hmm. but. I've scooped up a girl before where I was like <laughs> completely <laughs> didn't think about it and was like it's a struggle. It's We've all been there. We've all been there. That's Ooh. that's prime thinking with your dick is yeah, what that yeah, is. Yeah. Yeah, your dick's a dreamer. Yeah. Your, your dick it thinks your arms are you. way that's bigger. That's for sure. Your dick yeah. believes in you. Yeah, he's like you could totally pick up his chick <laughs> yeah. way more than you. And a yeah. girl too, you know they're nervous when you do that too because they'll make a noise. They'll be like, oh no. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that. Oh, <laughs> They've been oh, dropped before. They've been dropped before. You don't have to. Yeah. Doc, I, me and Steven had a show last week, a sketch show, mm. and it ends with... <laughs> 
Yes. It ends with me having to pick him up, like get mad at him and yell at him. And we never practiced it. She was like, I'll just get you and you got a real reaction on stage. Do you want to tell him? Like, I got Dude, this he kicked he picked me up full like fireman's carry. <laughs> and like I it's like I went up and then I went even higher up, like over. So I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like I had just never been you're, you swept off my feet. You said you're a bouncer, before. right? Uh, yeah, I was in the past, yeah. Yeah, you you look yeah, you look like you just you shoulder check people out of yeah. establishments with ease for sure yeah. yeah yeah i just the big move because you don't want to you don't want to like throw people right, right or whatever because they might get hurt and they can sue you i just get in front of them just walk right I was about like, to yeah. like, yeah. yeah, like yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 you're a big guy yeah so i i yeah no I, that's one of my favorite jokes of yours of i've broken up fights just by standing up yeah for sure which is absolutely true i've seen it you know, i've do seen you, it in action do you um what like because this is a thing i know you know this how many dudes just like take it t- take a challenge to the bouncer you know what i mean like i've seen dudes when the bouncer comes up to him and goes go you gotta leave they're like us short <laughs> looking at him and are like fuck you and it's like bro what do you, you think again what do you yeah. think's gonna happen it's, it's just, you know what's weird it happens way more when you're working as a bouncer than just on the street Right? No, I meant like, like yeah, that's yeah. what I mean as a bouncer. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying people definitely like they come at you and their night goes bad as the bouncer. Right? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's a, th- it's like a, I don't like a feat, a, like a, I don't know what it, uh, the word I'm trying to get. It's like a challenge to them. Like yeah. they're like, oh, this guy, it's, he's the, it's the bouncer. It makes no yeah. sense, dude. Yeah, yeah. I've that's had, a thing, right? It is a thing. Bouncers know this too, right? Yeah, yeah. And the best, the best is being like not working, and there's another bouncer there, or like you're like you're working somewhere. I had a guy who was off dude. I had a guy like starting to get undressed to fight me. I was like, come on, man. Like, this is too much. Like, yeah. he was like taking his jacket and his watch and his hat off. And then there's another bouncer who doesn't even work at my bar, but he just was hanging out. And he goes, he's sitting there and he goes, brother, you don't want to do this. And he like, John looks and says, no, fuck him. He goes, maybe you win, but I'm on his side. Like, you don't want to yeah, do this. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they love it, dude. They love pushing. or Because it's also, there's this thought of like, People think the bouncers can't actually do anything, in a sense. They can't. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, like, no, dude, I'll tell you they this. Can. The dumbest room I've ever been in was when I was getting my bouncer license. You have to have a license in New York to do it. Oh, wow. And, like, it's a two-day class, and you got to do another one day every year. And they're telling us about how, like, you know, what, what you're allowed to do, what you aren't, and, you know, giving you all the laws and stuff. And I remember so vividly this woman going, you mean... I could have sued them when I got shot at work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you for sure could have sued them. That's insane. But that's what I'm saying. Like, there's a thing where a lot of bouncers are just like don't think they can physically do anything. They're there to call the cops and stop fights. But like, <laughs> no. <laughs> Dude, I've seen bouncers. I've definitely been asked to leave by bouncers, mm-hmm. but every time, like, it's never like because I'm I'm just too drunk somewhere, yeah. and they're just like, buddy, you gotta go. And I've looked at them and been like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm cool, I'm yeah. cool. They're like, no, no, you're fine, just you can't be. And I'm like, I'm, I'm fine because I don't. Well, yeah, I, yeah, I'm the opposite. Where I'm like, you're probably right, dude. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, you got you're me. right. And uh, and they, I see it actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they've yeah. never <laughs> they've never been like escorted me. They just like stand and just watch. And I'm like, I'm, I'm going. And they're like, oh, you're fine. They got yeah. I because so you're a bouncer's dream. Yeah, you're, yeah, right. you're in the best case scenario. I'm, I'm like, you're right, dude. I'm, I can't. Yep, I'm falling asleep at the bar. Like, I've done it. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I'm actually a nightmare <laughs> as a client. Like, I had a buddy. We were drinking back home, and a buddy puked on the dance floor, but he got it all in the trash can. And a bouncer came up to us. So you guys got to go, come on, man. He did it. Like, yeah, yeah. He didn't hurt anybody. He did what he was supposed to and do. And my other friend was like, and he's like, imagine if you were working right now. Would you kick him out? I was like, all right, yeah, we'll leave, I guess. Sense, yeah. yeah, that's yeah, fair. They puke, they fall asleep. There's, yeah, a whole bunch of. Yeah, yeah, yeah I actually remember my little cheat code because. My ex, two exes ago, was a singer, and I remember my move because whenever I went to her shows, it was to me felt like a night off, and I got to play King Groupie mm. because the moment everyone finds out I'm with the singer, they're buying me fucking shots. You know, they're like, "That's your girl, but that's my girl," bro. <laughs> and like fucking, we doing shots and stuff. But there was one time at a bar, I got so fucking drunk, I almost didn't make it to the bathroom in time. But it wouldn't have even mattered, I don't think, because that gig specifically. I remember I had brought a shitload of joints because I was supposed mm. to meet a bunch of her friends for the first time I want to look like the man you know yeah, yeah, yeah. and then her friends fucking flaked you know like fucking Course. foreshadowing yeah exactly and like so I just have all these joints so I ended up just ha- like handing them out to most of the staff like before the doors were even open and so like now all the staff knows me now they're gunning to like get me drinks first no matter who's right. in the bar right. and now I'm like even if I had missed that trash can I think they would have let me stay <laughs> and so every gig I went to from then on I just brought like 10 joints mm. and I'd just be passing them out to the staff so I'm Sorry. like this is kind of my insurance plan of if I get really fucked up 
then uh, you know it won't, won't it won't necessarily yeah, reflect right. poorly on me or her. Yeah, you know, yeah. and it was a good system. It that was a good smart, system dude. for a little while, man. It was Hell good. Yeah. I do. I get on with bartenders so well, just because. Uh, I had I've had two places that do this. That my first drink is free if I chug it, mm. and like I'm like, is this sexual? He like watching me swallow. <laughs> that this is, but yeah, just a big dude who's there to drink with them. They love it, man. I had a place that would it's two for five PBRs, mm. and he started giving them to me unopened so I could teach people in New York how to shotgun. It was oh, the yeah, best. Yeah. Did you know that's not a thing people do here? Here, really? yeah, they don't shotgun because that's, that's like such a, an outdoor I was thing. Gonna say that's like a uh, uh, bonfire. Yeah. Yes, party yes. thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm from Connecticut, so we definitely yeah. shotgunned. Yeah, yes, I'm from Virginia, so we did shotgun. Mm-hmm. But that's a funny thing. I moved up here before I was even like good at drinking. Yeah. Like I moved up here when I was like 22 or something like that, maybe oh, 23. Yeah. And so like I still barely have a handle on shotgunning because <laughs> I just don't have that much experience. Yeah. So. I just I uh, be I'm not a big beer drinker, but mm-hmm. I have shotgunned and. The way I was, I you know what I did? I drank with um, a Navy guy one day. Mm. Yeah, and they can like anyone in the Army services. If they drink, they fucking drink. Yeah, like, yeah they, absolutely. They put him down, and I was like, I can't chug it. And he's like, Bro, just fucking. He just literally. Exp- I forgot exactly his name. He was just like, Yo, you just. Just keep swallowing it and just ignore the taste. And he's <laughs> yeah. like, he powered me through it, and that was from then on. That's, I can, Na- like, that's actually yeah. Navy SEAL training. Yeah, I, can also, yeah. I can also like, like sm- just knocking them back because I was like, I don't like drinking beer, and that's all we had. He's like, drink like four glasses of this. I was like, I can't. He's like, dude, just fucking slam it yeah. back, just do it, and then, yeah. So I drank with a Navy man, and that's how I know how to chug and shotgun. That sounds oh, yeah, like dude. nearly a hostage situation. With <laughs> yeah. Just fucking drink it. Yeah. Dude, just bitch. fucking drink it right now. <laughs> he was younger than me, too. Oh, he was, that's it, the yeah. worst. He was also, it, but he was like, that's you know, awful. all like fucking jacked and st- like, I'm in the Navy. I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> was, it was a rough time. That's the I'm most, in the Navy. That's the most moonshine I ever drank with a, one of my cousin's like Navy friends. Mm. He came with a gallon of moonshine. He's like, well, we're finishing this tonight. I was like, sick. I'll see you in yeah. two days. Like, yeah. I'm not going to remember anything. Yeah, Moonshine. dude. Yeah. Navy's crazy, dude. You know what I did with Navy boys was when I started comedy in Norfolk, Virginia. There's a big naval base down there, so yeah, there yeah, were oh, a yeah, lot yeah. of like either like Navy comedians or people that worked for the naval base in some way. Those motherfuckers they can't smoke weed because it pops mm-hmm. on a test. So the, they used to smoke K two, oh, the yeah, spice, so the synthetic shit. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. I will say, in defense of K two, <laughs> which no one says usually, yeah. is because back in the day it was like. The thing that fucked up K2, I'm pretty sure if I'm remembering this correctly, is that like they would ban certain chemicals inside the K2 to try to make them to stop making it, but then they just put in some other shittier chemical. And so it changed over the years to where it was like a few years ago, it was like a bunch of homeless people basically fucking overdose smoking the shit. But it's like back in the day, it was labeled as potpourri, and that's basically what it was. We just happened to smoke it all the time. And it was like, it was, it wasn't, I wouldn't say it was a clean high. It smelled like, Horrific! It smelled you, so bad. It smelled terrible, and it was like a fifteen-minute high. It was like weed would like get you there, but K two, it's like you're fucking, you're I there, dude. You're there, and you're there for fifteen minutes, and then you're get and you then you're back down. That's what K two would do for me. Yeah. I would love to hear you tell more drug history that you clearly don't know. That's so. <laughs> hey, I did know. I was in it. I was in the shit. You know, I was behind enemy your front lines. Source, right? I was front lines. I, I remember weed being. Like now, weed is beyond. It, it, I remember with mid, it's mids, mm-hmm. beasters, and then headies. That was like how you, mids was like brown, beasters was like green, but tasted kind of you know it wasn't that good. And then headies was like hydroponics. I wow. didn't smoke weed until the pandemic, and I still don't uh, smoke that often. I'm so bad at weed. I uh, love it, dude. I crush yeah, weed. I we smoke had, too we, much weed. We split an edible last night. Oh, of yeah? some, it looked like a five hour energy. Yeah. It was like a little drink concentrate. How much was it? It was like 100, 100 milligrams between oh, the whole thing. Dude, so yeah, we so, 50. Yeah, it was I don't good. think it was technically weeks. It's legal back in Ohio. Oh. Was, that, yeah, it just got you annihilated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got toasty pretty quick. Yeah, I'll we were take, just eating chips for three hours straight. Dude, I'll take 100 milligrams to the head. Yeah. Like, no problem. Absolutely. It, if it's real, like, I'll feel it, and I'll fucking, like, zone out on the couch for a while. But sometimes I've taken edibles. People are like, watch out, and I'll... I was freaking out. Oh, I don't know if you know. It. I was freaking out next to you, dude. I couldn't. I'm gonna well, swallow for a minute, and I like. I was like, "Oh God, am I gonna die alone?" I was well, like, "What is happening to me right well, now?" We were, we're also, watching. we were also watching some real stoner yeah. shit of uh, the octopus the murders. Octopus murders. Oh, of this what is guy that? who it's basically on it's on Netflix. It's this guy who basically uncovered. 
some criminal conspiracy and he was a reporter and so he got killed for trying to report it and there's like eight different legs of the conspiracy yeah, yeah, and how so high this thing goes and it's just like I was really into it in, into it when we first started watching I'm like this is my shit I love this kind of shit but just like halfway through like episode two I'm just like I am losing track of a lot of games. <laughs> yeah. just, I'm losing track of a lot of computer programs that they're talking about. I'm like, I don't remember how this guy relates to that guy or why they're talking about this guy again. And we're like, American Dad? We're like, yeah. American American Dad. Dad. Yeah. You guys like American Dad? Yeah, it's yeah. my favorite. Dude, it's, is it? I, I, re, I just restart it all the time. It's, it's it, so I, good. I, it's my like comfort show. Yes, absolutely. It's the funniest show. I'd say it's better than Family Guy. Yeah, it's I my agree. favorite animated show. I agree. Uh, I'm Archer, but American Dad's up there. I love American The dude's fucking... The... Uh, Francine, dude. Uh, yeah, she's Francine. one of the well, best dude, characters I, ever. What episode dude. is it? Because I was trying to. This is great content. What episode is it that was? Uh, she's just like, yeah, I just, I want to smoke a bone <laughs> and down a two liter of orange <laughs> soda. Because that's what I did last night. Just <laughs> killed my orange soda. <laughs> oh, I fucking love America. Yeah, dude. no, that's the weed comfort show for sure. Yeah, that man. one's up there. That's I, good. I was a big um because it, it. I'm sure it still exists, but I don't have cable. But when I, I'm 31 now, so when I was. In my early 20s, and I'd, I'd be, like, out all day, and I'd come home at night, and I'd get super stoned, and I'd watch that Adult Swim block yeah. of, yes. like, Aqua Teen, yeah. Robot Chicken, yes. fucking, uh, uh, Adventure Bros. Like, all, all those, uh, I mean, I, like, some anime would come in, like Cowboy Bebop would there, some, yeah. be yeah. there sometimes. I miss that time sometimes. Yeah. But, but I, I just reminisce. I don't, like, I'm not like, oh, I wish I could Dude, be there. I, I just had a flash of a memory. I was on some family trip, and I was like, it was all sharing a room. It was my mom, my stepdad, and my stepbrother and me, and he was watching uh, Adult Swim, and I, like, woke up, and it was specifically, do you know the, um, oh, God, it's like a, a, a bear. It's not Charmin Ultra, but it's one of those, it's like a, a softener. It might have been Charmin with the teddy bear. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you know the skeleton? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Robot chicken, robot chicken, chicken of it like. Yeah, the huggable, yeah. so, rapably soft. Dude, yeah, yeah, dude, and I'm like, yeah. I'm like 12, and this is like, <laughs> it, it freaked again. me out for the whole vacation. I was like, yeah. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I was like, oh, dude, God. I remember having a very similar moment when I was young and turning, I'm the same age as you, and I remember turning on Adult Swim one time when I was probably in like, Middle school, I think it must have been, and Metalocalypse was playing, mm. and I didn't know what it was. And I just remember it was just one of any number of scenes where they kill all of their fans at a show. <laughs> yeah. And I just remember thinking, like, this is horrible. Yeah. This is so <laughs> fucked up. And then, like, not really watch. And then, like, a year later, I got into Marilyn Manson and Slipknot and stuff yeah, like that. And then I was it. like, let's revisit that metal show. Let's yeah. see what that was about. But that one was really good. But also, you know what I always thought was hacky, like, in terms of getting high and watching something? I always thought it was hacky when people talk about getting high and watching planet planet earth yeah oh, and like yeah, yeah, i always yeah. thought that was hacky shit but then i swear to god there was one time i was in richmond and i was at a friend's place they have like an 80 inch tv it's fucking huge and it's like and their living room is like smaller than yours so the tv is right in front of you yeah like big wow. screen and we just ripped a bong and put on planet earth and i'm like you know what when it's fucking life size this, <laughs> is, sick as hell, visceral, yeah. this is really cool i can taste the colors yeah <laughs> i'm like i'm not gonna shit on people that watch planet earth anymore or this is pretty fun. They just have better TVs than no, me. That's that, what I like. The hacky learned. one is Bob Ross. That's the one that I'm like, all oh, right, yeah, guys, yeah. we get yeah, it. That's like, it. I, I used to, I, I maybe I don't say that. Never mind. I'm going to take that back. <laughs> what? Well, what? I just used to sell a lot of drugs before oh. I ever smoked them. <laughs> I sold weed before and back in the Same. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. the We're guy I alumni. used to, the guy who was like, top, I'm not going to say his name. Never mind. But <laughs> he kind of looked like me. He just was like kind of a, when I was fatter, like a fatter redhead with long hair, had a little cinnamon bun in the back. And he would just show up at his front door with like, just wearing gym shorts with his like Doberman and uh, <laughs> Classic, uh, yeah. Rottweiler, right? And they're just the nicest dogs. You walk in, he literally have a five gallon bucket of weed. Like, how much do you want? I'm like, not that much. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, he'd always have Bob Ross on it, just hitting dabs. I was like, dude, you are a cartoon. Yeah. Like, you yeah. aren't real. There were that was kind of a golden age of drug dealers before it was legalized. That guy really exists in yeah. droves. I was that guy for yeah. a little bit. I used to cruise around in my car. I was the guy Same. who'd like I'd pull up anywhere with Same. weed and be like, here you go, and just Same. meet you in a parking lot somewhere. Oh, I was yeah. like, I'm the guy you can hit at one a.m. for an eighth. You know, that yeah. 
that was, that was me too. Not. Yeah. I was a bespoke trafficker. You got your order in on Saturday. You got it on Sunday. I will la di da. Good for you. Dude, some text of us me. were scrapping out here, dude. Some yeah. of us were scrapping. I sh- yeah, I, I like. Hus- I told anyone I was like, "Yo, hit me up anytime. I'll, be, I'll if I'm around, I'm around." Yeah. It's actually it's what got me enough money to move to New York City. Yeah, though, I, which dude, is back I'm, in whatever yeah. year past the statute of limitations on that. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Yeah. I'm, I was arre- I've been arrested for it, but I've I've <laughs> been like. I've reaped the benefit. Yeah, I'm still. Yeah, I saved up a lot from good. Yeah, yeah, I, good, dude. I got out of it because I fronted somebody who was literally living with my aunt and uncle. Like I would have considered him family at that point. He, I fronted him, and then he, like, fucked just, me. Uh, yeah. And I was like, I was getting people together to go rob him at my aunt's house. I was like, I right, never mind. I'm I'm done drug dealing. <laughs> yeah, like, just bring something out inside me that's yeah. not that should stay buried. Same like, dude, yeah. dude. I got robbed. And I mean, not like rock. Like, I got an ace taken from me twice. Mm-hmm. And each time, I just gave up looking for the guy. Like, two yeah. solid days of being like, I'm going to fuck him up. And then I missed him twice. And I was like, you know, dude, I don't. What? Right. Yeah, it's an, it's an And I just it's went about a. my life. Like, I was like. It, it's not like the it's not like the movies where it's like yo you, if you don't do something everyone's gonna come at you it's like no dude you nah just, dude it's we're not that high level yeah of, it's no. not well, at it's all. also the guy who robbed you of an eighth is not gonna go bragging about it right exactly because yeah. no one's gonna work sell to him yeah exactly it yeah. wasn't yeah. a big deal yeah. see yeah I only I did it basically back in college when it was like people didn't know where to get it from right. I had a buddy tell me like this he he I had a friend that sold everything like anything you get your hands on he was like well look. I know I can get clean stuff and my friends want it. So I'm morally obligated to get it for them. <laughs> Otherwise, what if they get some stuff that's cut bad? And well, I was like, I you know what? Fair point. I'm in. That's yeah. the, I agree. Dude, that was my favorite part about being the weed guy is that I'm not the pill guy, but I know the pill guy. Yeah, I'm dude. not the powder guy, but I know the guy with the dude. powders. You know, like that's I loved being that. You know, like and, and, dude, and having yeah. the access to it. And I got so many texts. Sorry, mom. On top of weed, that would be like, do you know anyone who has Molly? And I'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah but I'm yeah. Yeah, I know. And it would get to the <laughs> point where even the guys I was buying from, like, why don't you just buy a bunch for me? I'm like. I don't, I don't, yeah. wanna, I don't want to be that guy. The only yeah. thing I, I don't want to have to get rid of it was my thing. I was yeah. like, I don't want to have coke that I need to get to somebody because yeah. then I'm gonna push it, and I don't yeah. want to be that guy. Yeah. Nope. And I, the only thing I wish I did could have gotten my hands on to sell in college Adderall. Oh my All, god! If you, yeah, I could have gotten a, a, a thousand pills of Adderall. Oh and Jesus! Make so much money. Jesus oh. Christ! You would have been living large. Oh. We wouldn't even know who you are. No, You'd be way too famous and successful right now. Russian, dude. Yeah, dude. No, just, oh. That shit, dude. That. In college, was like, like weed. Everyone wanted another shit, mm-hmm. but like Adderall was fucking gold. If you had That's, Adderall, I, I was, I, I missed that train. Like I was aware of it while I was in college, but I don't realize how much of a cash cow it was. And also, weed was still so illegal yeah. that it's like it was yeah. still a cash cow. It was like tw- it was like twenty a G, sixty an eighth, and that was like the going rate. That was like normal. That Probably was regular could have price. It, like if I lied to a doctor enough, but I just didn't even like I wasn't. St- like that manipulative, I guess. Like yeah. I didn't think that far ahead, and I was like, I also, if you get caught with, yeah, you're pills, fucked. It's way worse. Yeah, you're yeah. fucked. When I, as somebody who got fucked with weed, it's I can't imagine what it's like with real drugs. Did you get fucked with weed? Oh yeah, I got fucked. Yeah, Not what hard. happened? They pull. I got pulled over, and I got I got stitched out by someone I saw oh, just straight up. Whoa, like God, straight. that was my biggest fear. <laughs> that was my biggest fear. Like, like the way I'm pretty sure it happened is she got pulled over like a few days before. And they did the whole like, yo, we can make this go away. Just like, you tell know, us where you tell got us where this. you got it. Because yeah. once I dropped, I dropped her off at her apartment, and then I drove out, and I was leaving. I got pulled over by the cops. So I was like, <sighs> Doesn't make sense. And then it was like, oh yeah, it's her. It's like that's the only thing that makes sense. And yeah, they fucked me. They they get they got they got in my house and everything. It was bad. Wow, really? that's. Yeah. Uh, yeah, got, I only had like a quap, but it really yeah. But it's <laughs> I got not you good. pigs. That was a lot. This is ten. This is a long gonna, time I was going to say, it's wow. over 10 years ago. Quap 10 years ago. Yeah. This, is like 20, still... uh, this is like 2013. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. still a lot. And that's, yeah, yeah dude, I remember having... It was a th- felony possession yeah. amount of weed. And it, was, it was a felony dude, I, I possession eight, of weed. I was yeah. accused. Supposedly. Yeah. Yeah. I had eight <laughs> felonies when I got pulled wow. over. Wow. Yeah. When, they, when I got charged. They charged. Wow. Yeah, but I... I didn't blink, dude. Hey, baby. Nice. White boy, yeah. you got out of it. Yeah. I, dude, I literally, they, they tried to get me to snitch and everything, and I was like, I'm not. I, I don't know what you think happens to me. And they were like, yeah. I mean, you're going to get in trouble. You might even go to jail. I was like, 
might even go to jail. jail. I looked at them like jail, dude. You're sending me to j- Listen, jail. Listen, gentlemen. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I had the same thing. They I fucked had... me though. They really did fuck me, but I was like, because they said like we're gonna fuck you then, and I was like, fuck and away, it. boys. Because it's like I, I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm Italian, so it's like I'm not. Like I'm like. I, I don't you know. Got connections I don't, inside. I also we'll just fine. no. I don't bite off more than I can chew. Right. So it's like. I'm not a snitch, and I wouldn't do anything to make me snitch. You know right, what I mean? Like, right. I'm not doing serious crimes right. where they can be like, dude, you're never getting out of jail. Yeah, unless you snitch. That, yeah. I'm not saying I understand snitching, because, I, again, I, I guess I wouldn't, but it's like, yeah, when that's in front of you, it's kind of like, you know. Yeah, no, I agree. Dude, I had a buddy get pinched with my stuff that I had sold him, and I was mad worried about it, because, uh, like, the only thing was he got pinched with a bunch of stuff. So mm. it was like... The thing that killed me, though, he got pinched with less than a gram of weed, and he still got probation for nine months. Like, that is how harsh the laws were oh, in back then. In Virginia. Yeah, okay. yeah. I was going to say, because yeah, yeah. That's, a and gram I was, in Connecticut would be like, you're ready to ticket it back Yeah, then. yeah. So, no, yeah. this was less than a gram in Virginia, and they ended up giving probation for, he had a few other drugs in his freezer, like some acid and stuff like that. Mm. But um, they, yeah. yeah, and he didn't snitch, which I was very, very grateful about. And also, it's like, you know, I don't know if that's going to help them bringing me down, you know, bring right. it old, bring it down old Heisenberg of Virginia Beach. Dude. You know, I don't yeah. think that was me. Are you from Virginia Beach? <laughs> uh, no, but uh, I'm from Virginia originally, Fredericksburg originally, okay. and then I was living around Norfolk at the time, <laughs> and I remember the guy that we had gotten it from was from Virginia Beach because I remember when I went to pick up from my guy one time there were a bunch of kids there and they were picking up from different universities and it literally felt like it was almost like the fucking pimp's ball or whatever and Chappelle is like these are all the movers and shakers you know of the community and so my guy who I was buying from was like all of you have to sit in the fucking shed in the yard when he gets here because you are not allowed to see him and so we all went and sat in the shed and we were smoking bongs next to gasoline canisters Nice. I'm like, this, this, this Super feels safe. really dumb, yeah. And then so, and then my guy came out after the guy left, and it was just like more drugs than I'd ever seen in one place at one time. It was like pillowcase size bags of weed, sandwich bags of Molly and blow. And I was like, I want to get the fuck out of here because all yeah. I'm trying to do is pick up. Like literally, all yeah. I was there to pick up was four ounces, and that was it. Yeah. That's all I need. I'm like, please get me out of this shed because if cops arrive in any moment while I'm in this shed, I am going to jail for the rest. <laughs> Of my life, never did, so that was good. Yeah, yeah. But it was still kind of cool to see it. Now I miss it. My uh, cousins lived in Fairfax. Oh, Virginia. nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Fairfax I, is nice. Yeah, I've been to Virginia. We would go there and then go to Virginia Beach a bunch. And mm-hmm. I really, I'm going. My cousin, other cousin, lives there now. Other side of the family. I want to go back. I, I really liked Virginia Beach as a child. So it is nice. They got trashy yeah. bars and shit out there. Yeah, it's a bo- it's boardwalk and just yeah. a mini golf and all that arcade games and shit. Yeah. yeah. Trashy time. t-shirts that say, yeah. come on vacation, leave on probation, Virginia yeah. Beach. You get your name on a piece of rice or yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that shit, yeah. <laughs> that's shit like always, that, yeah. yeah. That, I like, uh, every boardwalk has like, um, like a statue of a Jamaican guy like smoking a joint. Yeah. Like oh, like a big-headed Jamaican guy with a big joint and big dreads, but the rest of his body's small. Like, yes. And it's like, come into the shop and we yes. smoke weed here. Yeah, <laughs> we're cool. Here. Yeah, this is exactly. the cool yeah. store, guys. Yeah. You well, get tobacco pipes here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're water pipes and don't call them anything differently. I'm just looking. Okay, we're cooking, dude. I was just making... I, yeah, how, how are we doing? doing? How are we doing? I, mo- we're, we're almost stuck. Nice. I just, oh, I, I, my phone's recording, so I can't look. Yeah, you're good. Right. There. Right. So I gauge that. For no, time. I got you. You know your TV right there has a big old time on it. That is the correct time. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, yeah. The, t- the TV <laughs> arm remote, um, like, started to uh, overheat earlier, and it almost like what? Yeah, our remote, the remote overheated. Yeah, it overheated, which, and then we Googled it, and apparently these types of TV remotes, if they're like battery things undone. They just overheat, and if you have them between a couch, they can catch fire. It was a whole thing, but we're Damn. fine. Hope that didn't happen to ours. Yeah. We lost ours. Oh yeah, we yeah. lost a remote recently, oh, no. which is very frustrating because it's like it's one of those annoying things. Where we have the Roku and then the TV remote. Mm. We lost the TV remote, so it's like we can't change the volume. So we'll be watching like mad talky talk shows with low volume, and it's really annoying. Like, we need to put on a Michael Bay movie or something because we, <laughs> yeah, we can't adjust the volume. But it that fucker disappeared, mm. and maybe it'll explode, and then we'll find then it. We'll yeah. it is, yeah. yeah. Then we'll know where it is. Yeah, then we'll know where it is. Fine. It's yeah. molting in the, the That would be the best somewhere. thing it could do, actually. It would be to yeah, blow be, up. Please blow up. Yeah. yeah. Especially while we're not home. That'd be great. Yeah. That would be chill. Let's get some renter's insurance on the way home, <laughs> by the way. 
my buddy Ish Gupta. I don't know if he's, yeah. you know him. I know Ish. Yeah, yeah he's, he's great. He's a great dude, dude. His apartment burned down. And that <gasps> Jesus. Sucked. Yeah, it just fucking. But the only guy whose apartment burned down was like, yeah, nah, it stinks. <laughs> so just like he's like so cool about it. You know what yeah. I mean? But yeah, it sounds like it stinks. Yeah, dude. I I don't even know, man. But like, I don't have that much here, but. I would be sad, you know what I mean? I'd be, yeah. I'd be, I, all my clothes, I don't even, yeah. uh, whatever, my Friday the 13th shirt's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Who's on your shirt, by the way? Carly Rae Jepsen. Who's that? Who's my queen. What? She did Call Me Maybe. Hey, I just met you. And no, this is I, yeah. crazy. Everyone knows that Here's song. my number. <laughs> uh, here's the thing. Carly Rae Jepsen is an underrated pop queen, and um, I have two Carly Rae Jepsen shirts, and I'm a huge fucking fan, and she has way more hits than Call Me Maybe, but everybody just knows her for Call Me Maybe. Call Me Maybe a great song. so bad. Exactly. Yeah, I know that it's part. I like that part. Put that shit on when people are drinking and tell me it don't turn to karaoke. Yeah. Everybody going to sing that motherfucker. But she has put out banger album after banger album after banger album. And I've been trying to, I need a bigger following just so I can tell people to listen to Carly Rae Jepsen. Huh. That's my move. And That I, should be your new plug at the end of every year. Yeah. It's not Carly, even your fuck, special. Oh, yeah. Just. Fuck my special that's coming out this week. Uh, Carly Rae Jepsen. Yeah, oh, yeah. You, you should did, film the special, what it's called. Yeah. The special is going to be released on March 15th on my YouTube. It's just called Stephen Bowl. Stephen, please. Um, and that's like we said, B-O-L-L-E-S, but you can just find it at YouTube, Stephen Bowles Comedy, um, or any of my social media is all Mick Longhair, MC yeah, Longhair. Yeah, very funny. Easy to remember, because Stephen Bowles can be spelled eight different ways. This but is true. Mick Longhair, and then the special is called Stephen Bowles, Stephen, please. It's coming out on the 15th. I'm really excited about it. We filmed it in Grove 34. Oh, yeah. Shout out um, to Scott Hall and Rodrigo. And, yeah, exactly. My guys. Suits. Yeah. You know, uh, filmed back in November and then finally got it all edited together and it looks good. I'm happy with it. Um, and it's my first special that I've done in Hell 10 yeah, years. Yeah. Oh, that's great, man. I, I'm seven years in and I'm looking like I'm thinking in five years I'll start thinking about like a half hour. You think nah, in five years you will on. start thinking I'll start about a half thinking hour? About it. Nah. I'm, I'm slow, man. How much no, stand-up do you do? Too. I do enough. I, like, I definitely have like I could do a half hour, but I want one. Where I want to be yeah. sure, and I think in five years I'll be sure. Okay, oh I mean I, I feel you, but like years. it took me a long time too. So. It took me a it, long time too. It could too. happen sooner, you but could, I'm. But you yeah. could write a whole half hour in the next year, even, yes. if, you, even if you only did open mics. I know, but I want to. I want like I want it to be obviously I want it to be good though. Like I don't want to put. Oh right, out so yet. not like Stevens. I get it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah thanks, man. No, 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 out here coming at you like that. No, no, I didn't. just said that about your special. What a dickhead. Why would you do his podcast? Yes, offense. I'm going to say your, your thing sucks. It's called Yes, offense. Yeah, yeah so, so I mean, I get it. It's so yes, we are offended. <laughs> yeah, you should. that's the gold. Yes. Yeah. No, I'm telling, under an hour. No, I'm telling you, like you have more material than you think, probably. No, no, I, I just I, it, we'll see. I, uh, I <laughs> dude, this I just is not how I wanted my podcast no, to no, go. No, you guys <laughs> telling me to shoot a special, <laughs> but you guys know, you also know. That you run into people who are like, I'm filming my third special, and you're like, yeah. not only are you terrible, yes. you've been doing this five years. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. The other ones weren't good. Yes, yeah, I yeah. agree. I completely agree, and that's what made me not do a special for a long time. It's supposed to be called a special. Yeah, it's supposed to be special. You yeah, know, like you know, there we go. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, I agree with you on that for a long time. But also, I don't know when I was preparing for it, I was kind of caught. There's two different sides of like, I want this to be perfect. I want this to be worth the wait. But then also, I'm like, it's your first special yeah i'm like that's no one's also, yeah, probably no one's gonna give a fuck recently. about your first special it's like just like if you think of it as throwing spaghetti at the wall this is just one strand of spaghetti you're throwing at the wall hopefully the next one sticks better right, you know right. so yeah. it's like don't take it too seriously but also you know be yeah. proud of what you've accomplished seven years is not nothing yeah. no, you know, that's a long yeah, time thank you thank you and also the people that are all shooting these bad specials are the same people posting tiktok clips that's with true. no laughs and it's the best dude, yeah. it, i love dude, it i love epidemic. a two-year comic putting out their bits dude, i love it dude had, uh, my boy tommy holder he does he does stand up semi regularly, but huh. I, all we do back and forth is is bad stand up clips where someone no laughs or it's yep. a hot chick doing stand up with no. I know that's exactly even, who it is. Yeah, I know exactly I mean, who you're talking like, about. I were, it, yes, we didn't talk off mic, but yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. we're I'm even talking obscure now. We found them like out of the city. <laughs> we don't even need the ones in the city, <laughs> oh. and that's the other funny thing about the hot chick comics. They don't even realize how many other hot chick comics are coming. Like if you yeah. like if the hot, winter's coming, it's, yeah. dude, the hot one, the other hot chicks have figured out that they can do this too, and mm -hmm. the other ones are it's They're coming, on their dude. way. And I'm cool with it, just on the <laughs> fact I'm you know not on a comedic way, but like, damn. 
Slots. That's what I'm saying, dude. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. We don't hate That's coming here. Hey, wait a minute. We never got yeah, your fourth, fourth one. one? We, we never didn't got your fourth one. We didn't have a thing to do it. We, we I know. could do it, though. It's We didn't have anything. What? Um, let me see if I can drag something out. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. Your so long like hair. How like long is your hair? Show it the crap. It's, it's about two, yeah, two Jesus feet long hair. at this point. You know, it's pretty long. Two feet? He's two feet. It's yeah. too much for you long. Do you, it's thick. Do you ever plan on cutting it? I donate no. like every two years. Oh, okay. So I grow it like nearly down to my waist and then donate like eight to ten inches mm. and then send it out. So I have enough long hair for me so it stays about below the shoulder. Nice. You know? Do you ever get mistaken for a woman? Often. Often. Yes. And yeah, do you ever turn around to the guy and go, and I got news for you. That means you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 I did it. Yes. Expertly pulled Thank off. You. Thank you. Expertly <laughs> pulled off. And an excellent sample. An excellent iced tea good, sample. Yeah, oh, drop. my God. That was worth the wait, actually. Thank you. Yeah. That, I honestly, when I started asking you, I'm like, there's a way to do this. And I was like, oh, yeah. Then I'll just, yeah. <laughs> when you that answered your perfect. question, I said, I have one more question about your hair. But other than that, I mean, yeah. Does, uh, how often does that happen? You could have called me gay for listening to Carly Rae Jepsen. <laughs> That's no, you you definitely could have pulled it out then. But, that, uh, but I respect that you didn't because you respect yeah. Carly Rae Jepsen. But she do have... <laughs> A lot of gay fans for sure. <laughs> it's the only place you hear Carly Rae Jepsen yeah. at the gay bar, and they only play like two songs. And I'm like, y'all missing out. <laughs> You're not going on the deep cuts, the side beats. You're not going on the deep cuts, <laughs> man, because the deep cuts. You know what got me into Carly Rae? And then I swear to God, I'll stop talking about this forever. It's fine. It's fine. The thing that got me into Carly Rae was like I ended my marriage in 2022, you know, and like that easily could have been a very villain era kind of moment yeah. of just fucking everything that moves. And I was seeing this girl in Harlem for a little while. Like we saw each other a few times. And then she sent me a Carly Rae Jepsen song called So Nice and said, this song reminds me of you. And I listened to it and it was the most flattered I've ever been. And it's basically a song about like, this guy is like so nice. I don't care what time of day he hits me up. It's right. basically yeah. the, the thesis of the song. But it's just about being a sweetheart. And I'm like, that's all I want to be. That's all I ever wanted oh, to wow. be. You know? I'm like, <laughs> and I got news. For you. <laughs> that means you're gay. That's right. Sorry, I don't mean to intrude. No, on no, you were right. But, yeah. no, and that was just expert. in the pitch, he said that. <laughs> he got you. Got me. You got me good. You do you got get me a, good. Do you ever? Do you feel like it's a Samson thing? Does that another? Bi- we're gonna start with the biblical reference and end okay, on a biblical reference. I like that. Reference. I low key, yes. It's the strength. It is where Samson the strength. Samson grew his flowers. hair, and when he yes. cut it, he wasn't strong anymore. Or some yes, shit. yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, if I had, if I cut my hair, I'd have to write a real joke. Fuck mm. that. <laughs> well, I want to lose weight. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. I'm like, then we'd have to write material. I don't think so. Oh man. All right, guys. Um, I think. Oh wow, that is that is an hour. Yeah, that's that was good. I usually do forty-five to an hour, but we were having a good time, so I wanted to stretch it to yeah, the no, hour. This was Appreciate really fun. You know? us, man. Yeah, man. Um, plugs. Anything to plug? Social media, podcasts, projects coming up. Yes. All right. The only thing I'm trying to plug is Stephen Bowles. Stephen, please. It's my first hour. My first special. It's on YouTube under Stephen Bowles Comedy. That's S T E P H E N. Fuck the V. Stevens for life. Yo, know, we'll never get along. Um, and then Bowles. <laughs> B O L L E S comedy, Stephen Bull's comedy, or if that's too much, just Mick Long Hair on all my platforms. I'll be annoying as shit posting about it, but the special come out March 15th. It would mean a lot if you send it to people, if you liked it, if you subscribe to YouTube, it would do a lot for me. So I would appreciate that. And then that's everything. Yeah, uh, me and Stephen are going to be on the road out in <sighs> Minnesota, yes. Colorado, Kansas, nice. Missouri, kind of a few places at the end of March. Colorado. Yep. And then I am part of a sketch group called Poke the Bear. We do a monthly show. I got a monthly show at QED, Carney and Cruz's Variety Show. So mainly New York-based stuff. If you want to come see some stand-up. Hell yeah. And reach out to Max Carney. Uh, yeah. That's the handle. Sure. Yeah, uh, you social media. Awesome. Sure. <laughs> you guys are great. Um, guys, as always, follow me at Silly Selly on Instagram. All S's, great, no spaces. I hit the end. Um, check. It. Please subscribe on YouTube. Write a review on iTunes. Check it out on Spotify if you want. That's where the podcast is. Um, April 20th, I will be at Concentric Brewing Company in Connecticut. Nice. Uh, that's the Yes Offense show. We do that show uh, bi-monthly there, and the last few have had a huge audience, so if you want to come to that, please buy tickets. It's a great show. Also, April 5th, Cottonmouth Comedy will be back at St. Mark's. Our last one went so well that it looks like we're going to be first Friday of the month every month at uh, St. Mark's moving forward. So... Come check us out if you want um, every first Friday of the month. And everything else, just check out my Instagram. I'll post my dates there. Thanks. You guys, Fuck yeah. thank you. Max, thanks, thank, thank you thanks, for coming. Thanks, you, you, you know, you thank you. Didn't know you before today. This is yeah, great. Yeah. Here to make your apartment feel safe, you know? <laughs> yeah, thanks, yeah. buddy. Thanks. <laughs> See you, nerds.